Hello everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day and today I am filming my really long awaited Lush collection video so let's just hop into it. Can I just say before, I am no way bragging or any shape and form, Lush really helps my mental health and I hope you enjoy to see my groovy soaps and things that fizz in the bath. So this is going to be quite an in-depth video. This is where I keep my bubble bars, reusable bubble bars, bath bombs and Christmassy bath bombs and like generic bath bombs. So let's just hop straight into this beautiful drawer. So this little container came from Ikea, it's about £2.50 and I keep all my bubble bars in here and this ranges from generic lime to Valentine's to Christmas. So let's just get on to explaining what we have here. So we have Anapodo bubble bar which is actually a kitchen exclusive and it's on the kitchen this Monday and I highly recommend you get it because it's very pretty. It's white and got a little like rose thing in the middle. I have two, I have a whole few things Santa bubble Bar. and this shares the same scent as yummy mummy and his eyes are chocolate so you technically can eat them but i don't recommend and it and here i have a little chunk of grass bubble bar which is a kitchen exclusive or exclusive to oxford street and i have some of the discontinued green bubble rune and another green bubble rune which is supposed to look over here actually god it's getting some oh no the flower's fallen off da -da. Then we have the Ladybird Bubble Bar, which I've actually crumbled some of him up there. Um, this shares um, like a minty and snow fairy, so like a candy scent, and this is paired very well with Intergalactic because it's like mint properties. Look how cute he is. another candy mountain there which i keep kept in a resealable bag and we have a little bit of bright side bubble bar and this is on the generic line it's about five pound but you get a massive chunk so it's basically the same size this comforter and white white clouds and fluffy blue skies no i've got that completely wrong but they share like the same here size. we have the david berry um tribute bubble bar so it's snowy and it's got the little zigzag like the signature david berry zigzag this shares the same scent as frozen bath bomb so it'd be great in a bath cocktail with that i actually bought this off a d stash of lush underscore obsessed josie check out her instagram and it was really good i only paid two pounds for it so there was none in the sale which i was kind of sad about but it's a very lovely bubble bar right i do tell a lie actually some of these here are little chunks of bath bombs um, I like to do if like I've got family or friends coming over so they get to try out the bath bomb before buying the bath bomb. There's a few bits there, so I've got um Lord Room is a rule, big blue, a bit of this is actually a bit of granny takes a dip or twilight, I don't know, one of the two. And here we actually have a magical Christmas reason bubble bar crushed up into a little bag, but it's very oily, so I don't really know. It's quite oily, I'll probably just chop it up and put it into a jar. Um, this is like Peeping Santa's long lost cousin. This shares the same scent as the olive branch, like scent family. But he lost his little nose and he's very cute, so he goes there. And we have my favourite bubble bar, Unicorn Horn. It's so pretty, it shares a lavender scent. Look at that luster. Just appreciate that luster. I crumbled a bar into a jar because I think that's really nice if you're doing bath cocktails. You can just appreciate the luster. It's so pretty. No, I don't know if anyone feels the same, but personally, I think it's smaller this year. Because when I look in my Polaroid, because I ordered these off the kitchen a while back. It looks smaller, but it's still beautiful. However, my hands were like hot and it made an indent in there. Oopsie daisy. This is the inside of Amnipodo bubble bar if you were thinking of ordering it. If I can let my camera focus. It's got a little rose petal and it smells of lemon and roses and I highly recommend it. It'd be great if like a rose jam. So here we have all my reusable bubble bars. So I have two Jester bubble bars. One's ramped up and one's not. They share the same scent as Brightside bubble bars. So very orange and citrusy. And they would go really well with the Satsuma bath bomb, which was released as part of the Christmas range. He's so cute. Oh, we lost his little collar. <laughs> R.I.P. Then I have two um, Magic Wand bubble bars. As you can see, that's in cellophane, that's not. This is the one from like November time. This is one I got for Christmas. It's got the luster on. These last about nine to 15 uses for me because i don't use them much but they're beautiful this shares a snow fairy scent so it's so beautiful
Then we have Santasaurus Reusable Blah Blah Blah, which was a new addition to the um, Lush 2016 Christmas range. She has the same scent as Honey I Wash the Kids. Um, in my opinion, it makes the bubbles quite brown, but I really recommend it. It's very cute. Um, however, it's only Christmas, so I really pray they bring it back next year because I only have one of them. Finally, we have the Magical Christmas Bubble, like reusable bubble wand. This shares a scent of it's like cinnamony and it just reminds me of Christmas. It'll go perfect with like hot toddy shower gel. Oh, that is a great bath cocktail combination. Oh my god. <laughs> Ideas. Um, but it's lovely and I highly recommend these if they're out next year. You should buy them. that I look at all my bath bombs and still want some of the Mother's Day and Easter range. It's not bad. It's an addiction, guys. Help me. So here we have this banger bath bomb. One of my favourite bath bombs on the regular line. It smells of lemons. Well, I'm really bad at scent descriptions, but it just smells really, kind of smells like 7-Up. That's a good description. Then I have half of intergalactic bath bomb. This is very minty, this bath bomb. I've uploaded a demo of this already to my channel, so check it out if you want to. Um, this is a very slow fizzer. I think it's got like popping candy in the middle. It's very beautiful and sparkly and lovely if you've got a cold because of all the minty and menthol extra. And I have a smashed over and over. It arrived basically like that. So that's a shame, but I, it still does the same result in the bath. Then I have Rose Bombshell, which shares the same scent as Rose Jam. It's very beautiful. It's a very fast fizzer though. So if you don't like fast fizzing bath bombs, this bath bomb would not be for you. However, I need to stock up on like five of these. Then we have my holy grail bath bomb, blackberry. I <laughs> my voice sounds so funny. I adore blackberry bath bomb. This is half of it because I never use it. this bath bomb. Is part of the regular range. It's three pound thirty five, so it's more of a cheaper one, and I highly recommend it because it just smells of blackberries and it's beautiful. I really I'm gonna get a bit quicker now because I've got so much still to go through. So half of over and over, half of roller, and if you know how hold rollers are to get hold of, this is like a godsend. A whole roller. Half a rose bombshell, about three quarters of honeybee bath bomb. Then I have a couple of bath and some bomb cosmetics. So this is like a reindeer one. This is called Dandelion and a very cute little one with a cat on it. Oh, and I have Cupid's bath bomb. This was $2.95. I really don't recommend the scent. It's supposed to smell like Razzle Dazzle bath or however, to me, it doesn't smell like that. So I'm probably just going to give it to my sister or something. So the majority of bath bombs you are seeing here are ones I picked up in the Christmas um boxing day okay, sale so here we have autumn leaf which shares the same scent as grass bubble bar this is beautiful a very slow fizzer very creamy and it's very nice this was the first time it was released this year i had three of these but i only got one left now then we have a very cute butter bear i actually had seven of these but they must i've just used them all um oh i need to wrap up his little arm and um, this shares the same scent as the butterball bath bomb the butterball bath one's available all year but these are a pound in a sale so i was like mm -mm, not gonna miss an opportunity to pick them up but and i have really three like shoots for the stars bath ones which share the same scent as honey i wash the kids so they will match the santasaurus reusable and bath i technically bath. have four parts of lord of miserable but technically two bath bombs this is the middle of Lord of Miserable. It's so beautiful. It's got popping candy in. It shares Lord of Miserable scent, of course, but it kind of smells of like patchouli and it's very like peppery and it's lovely. I hated this scent, but I adore it now. It's beautiful. If you haven't tried this bath bomb, you need to try it. Then over here, I have Heart of Aero 404, which is like a burnt vanilla scent. And this was made for the internet shutdown campaign. Wait, basically where activists all across the world would campaign for known internet shutdown over the world. And four pound and four penny, Four penny, four pence um, from buying this bath and went to the charity. So that was really I good. I actually adore how Lush um, help out charities and stuff because it's just really ethical and lovely and it shows what such a lovely company they are. Anyway, here, what are you doing in here, mate? <laughs> um, I have a third of Honeybee Bath Bomb. You're supposed to go there with your little. I friend. have another Lord of Miserable Bath Bomb, but he's in a little wrapped up thingy bag. I got those bags from the pound shop. They were about 30 for. Oh. <laughs> and then I have um, technically one so white, but I got this in the little sprout knot wrap, but they broke, so I wrapped them up. So I would just use it as a whole, but I'm just really tempted to like crush this, you know? But I shouldn't because.
I'd hoist. Then I have another Aerosaurosaur, which kindly Lulu and Lush, a very cute Instagrammer with her bunny, sent me this when I bought the Amnipodo bubble bars off of D-Stash of her. I love this bath on her, but I'm saving it because I already have half there. Then I have half of Mistletoe. Some people have been saying this sells like cat urine and stuff, but to me it's beautiful. Like this kind of reminds me of just what Lush Christmas smells of, and it's beautiful. And I've got revishly about the whole of it but it's this is such a big bath bomb this was a new edition but however i don't think it'll be back next year because it didn't get much hype then i have two halves of golden slumbers which has got some pink dust on it and um, this is available in lush oxford street or the kitchen online because as you know all kitchen all lush exclusive products are on the kitchen now but under a little bit and i have a golden wonder and i had another one of these but i gifted it to my sister because she was having a bad day so i was like have a lovely bath and this says to celebrate scent so the same as bubbly shower gel celebrate solid perfume liquid you know the gist yeah my favorite bath bomb from the christmas rain so here we have stardust bath bomb i got these in a the sale however they are crumbling a lot um, these cost me one pound fifteen to sell. Wow, that's gone really dry. Oh no. I actually may have to use these quite soon because you can see they're kind of crumbling. I may break them up and put them in a dust jar. This is just like a very basic vanilla scent. It's got a little blue insert in the middle. I really recommend it. It's a cheaper bath bomb from the Christmas range. So in this side here, I keep some of my Polaroids. So what Polaroids have we got here? Calicus Polaroid, um, Plum Brain Polaroid. What one's this one? Phoenix Rising Bath Bomb Polaroid. And I keep my bags, because if I go to a hotel or something, I can put the bathroom in there. But I'm actually gifting my Polaroids to Lush underscore Obsessed Josie. And I actually keep my kitchen wrapping here, because I think it looks really pretty. So now we are on to my drawer, which keeps my skincare and shower jellies and body lotions. In here, I keep some soap and glory products, but I will go through them at the end. And I keep my wax melts in there and my cinnamon stick from... So I'm just going to go through one by one what I've got here. So I've got Celebrate Body Lotion, which is a 225 gram tub, although the writing's falling off. This is actually a gift to my mum. I bought it off a of D-Stash, but I'm keeping it in there so I don't use it. I have it. roughly 18 samples here. So I have like Pink Peppermint Foot Lotion, Imogen Rose Solid Perfume, Volcano Foot Mask, Cup of Coffee. I need to buy the full size of Cup of Coffee. Little Tea Tree Toner Tab, Ocean Salt Facial Scrub. I'm very unsure about this. I need to try it out more to see if I'm going to buy the full size. And I have size. Santa's Belly Shower Jelly, which I got in the sale. It's Shower jelly is very runny, but it kind of smells of apples and it's quite nice. A sweetie pie shower jelly, which has the same scent as Comfort It's very damn shower jelly. And if you follow my last Instagram, you know the whole hassle I had with this, where one arrived and it ran. It was raining, so it ran on the bath bomb. Monsters ball exploded, but they sent me another one luckily. And in here we have two Kiss Me Quick wash cards. They're very tiny. Kiss me quick, please. <laughs> um, and basically, you tear a bit of this off, lather it on your hand or arm with water, and it produces beautiful bubbles. And it's great if you're travelling due to like liquid restrictions. And it shares a 29 High Street scent. I highly recommend them. For £2, they're very good to keep in your wallet. Or purse. Or pocket. And I keep some bath oils in here. I'm not a fan of bath oils, just because I don't like oils. This is Cedric's Cauldron. Um, this is based on Harry Potter, so it will really match the Devant... Devant... Da Vinci, I can't say it, reusable bubble bar. <laughs> then I have about a quarter of um, Dreamtime bath melt, half of melting marshmallow moments, and the eye of Monsters Ball, because I adore the calico scent. Keep them with little packaging peanuts. You can actually eat those peanuts. I tried them. They just taste like This gone is off. a bit of a random drawer, this drawer. So we have a mini reindeer and robin fun, which I got off Lush underscore obsessed Josie. Little sample of fun she sent me. Sorry about that. My phone ran out of storage and I had to beat some stuff. So where did it get to? Oh, yes, this drawer. So a cup of coffee you don't belong in there. So I have some fun. I have some blue fun, which smells of lavender. I have 100 grams of bubbly shower gel, which I'm actually saving for my giveaway. And I have Celebrate Solid Perfume. In my opinion, solid perfumes don't last long, but they're supposed to be like a base, like a primer, I suppose, to a liquid perfume. So I'm definitely um, de desperately in search of a liquid Celebrate. And if we go into this drawer, I keep all my soap. So I have a big chunk of Santa's Pots box. I put this up in the... This was £1.52 for a massive chunk, and I adore it, although it's quite glittery. Then I have some igloo soap I got in the sale. Lots of love soap, which smells of rose, very pretty, and some soap samples. So like igloo, yognog, fresh pharmacy. Northern Lights, Rockstar, etc. Here I have a 95 grams of Sleepy Body Lotion. This is not going to last me, so I'm desperately in search of another pot. Um, a new pot of new charity pot and some lemony flutter cute. And I have some more shower gels at the back here. We're almost finishing their little life. So you're doing cocoa shower cream. Not much of this left. I'm probably going to put it up for a sample my friend. The comforter shower cream and 
Wash that man right with my hair shadow. I hate the scent of this. I think I'm just going to sell it because it just smells disgusting to me. Oh, and I have a little bit of um, blue clouds and fluffy white skies. I keep saying it wrong. I have dyslexia. It's fine. <laughs> um, in a little jar. So now I'm going to get onto my shower gel, shower creams, crushed up bubble bars and crushed up bath bombs. So here we have 100 grams of rose jam, 100 grams of Twilight Oxford Street exclusive or online exclusive, 100 grams of Hot Toddy which was a kitchen exclusive, 100 grams of Plum Brain which is actually available in all stores now. So flick yourself up if you adore Plum Brain, <laughs> Prince Reference and oh, Purple Rain <laughs> and you'll really love Purple Rain. But Plum Rain, 100 grams of Ponch which kind of just smells like beer to me, it's alright. 100 grams of Lord of Miserable, I am in search of a big bottle of Lord of Miserable so if anyone has a big bottle, this is in the UK, hit me up on Instagram. Oh she's groovy, actually don't hit me up but just say that you have a bottle 100 grams of the you know holy grail snow fairy 100 grams of prince charming this is last year's edition so it's not it's more darker and has a bit of luster in but this is not the self-preserving formula just moving some so we can get to the back over here so i have 250 grams of snow cake shower gel um kitchen exclusive 250 grams of snow fairy 250 grams 250 grams of glog which basically in my opinion shares the same scent as hot toddy then we have a 500 grams bubbly i'm just going to go grab my two other big bottles of shower gel so i just grabbed three from the bathroom 500 grams of snow fairy 500 grams of rose jam these are gifted to me by my nana which is very lovely for christmas and i adore rose jam scent it's so beautiful so I'm probably going to do a more in-depth video on these here, but basically I have some crushed up bubble bars, so Ladybird Bubble Bar, Unicorn Horn, my Dust Jar, Yuzu and Coco, some bubble bar from the Pampa Cafe, um, the Comforter, Bath Bomb Dust, um, uh, what's it called, Skullduggery So bar. excluding tea tree toner water, Catastrophe Cosmetics and another mask on vitamin tea, this is all my Lush skincare, so I have Dark Angels, although I crushed her stupid hole in it this is very exfoliating fairy dust dusting powder which is absolutely beautiful and i just love this for a lovely beautiful sheen and a bubble gum lip scrub which is kind of like snow fairy scented and available all year round and it smells beautiful snow fairy although mine's like gonna fall out all in one because it's gone like that although you can actually make these i may do a lip scrub making video if you want me to comment and i have let the good times roll which actually used to be a, a christmas exclusive but it's not anymore it smells of like popcorn it's for like sensitive skin or normal skin or if you just want to gentle mask of man mag minty i have another two tubs of this in the fridge but i only keep one up here and i have a little sample of that the good times roll when i was testing it out and then i bought the full tub so i really hope you all enjoyed this video of my lush collection if you would like any demos or more in-depth reviews on the product comment down below or message me on instagram because i will do as i said and i mentioned it again in no way i'm trying to brag or boast i have a job and this pays for my lush stuff and lush really helps me with my anxiety and ocd and i actually got into lush because of quite personal reasons so for me if that's what makes me happy and made me recover slowly you know so i hope you have an amazing day comment below your three favorite lush products and stay tuned for an updated lush collection in a few months because trust me this will grow this whole thing will be lush related so you have to do this with unicorn horn let's just face it